welcome to subramani this is something which i am going to talk more from uh, behavioral finance and from uh, physiology uh, rather than from investing angle when is it a bad time to be talking to anybody whether to get into a meeting or whether it is a investment meeting or a review meeting suppose you have got money to invest uh, what are the times when you should not be getting into a discussion with anybody regarding your money it's a not just about investing it could be about a business investment it could be a mutual fund investment it could be an insurance it could be anything right or it could be a simple plain review or it could be a meeting of your uh, uh, staff friends no it does not impact friends so much but yes if you are doing a business meeting what are the things to consider whether whether to enter that meeting and check this for yourself other than you nobody else knows are you hungry on a hungry stomach very good chance that you will lose your temper and you will take your uh, decisions which are wrong which means you might take a decision to invest just to get rid of the person when uh, so that you can go and have your lunch right so you will say ha theek hai theek hai ye de do you know things like that you might you might just do it in a hurry and you may not have applied your mind your brain completely keeps on telling you look you're hungry just get rid of this guy and so you know this girl and uh, we'll be able to uh, go and have lunch or dinner whatever as the case may be so are you hungry it's a bad time to be uh, to be taking decisions on a on a empty stomach are you angry It sounds very uh, close to each other but yes are you angry if you have had a fight with somebody if you have had a tiff with your husband wife uh children boss anybody it's a time when your mind is not fully alert to be fully alert you have to ensure that there are no negative feelings right so make sure that there are no such negative feelings and even if you think you're getting a negative feeling in the midst of a meeting take a break go go out for a walk there will be enough chemical changes in your body for you to come back and be able to continue the conversation so hunger and anger are definitely not great things to have when you are in a meeting it's not just about the money meeting but even about the money meeting in the money meeting you could just get scared and you could take a decision when you are angry uh, you always have fomo so all those things could play a role and you might take a bad decision when you are aloof when you feel a little left out it happens when you call somebody that person has not called back you call that person five times that person has not called back and there's some kind of a feeling oh what does he think why does he not call back you know that kind of a feeling of being aloof or when some of your friends are having fun and you could not go on the trip that could be feeling aloof somebody has not uh, spoken to you for some time somebody has spoken to you rudely and you feel very neglected right all these negative feelings it happens especially as your age increases you give uh, more importance to it but even younger boys and girls they will feel neglected and they will feel left out by their group if they can't fit into it like it's an expensive uh, uh, music concert and your parents did not give you money to go for it right so that can make you very upset and you could feel that you're being left out there is so much of peer pressure right all those things and give you a feeling of being left out so when you're feeling aloof and fourth when you are very tired when you're very tired your mind is not willing to work at its best right so ask yourself all these questions am i am i in a bad frame of mind did i get a good night sleep am i angry about something am i hungry am i feeling very depressed and aloof and all these things can be solved by very simply by just doing some exercise go for a run go for a walk go to the gym right all those chemical changes in your body will make uh, make an impact and after that get into a meeting especially if it is about investing money one more thing which happens is when you are depressed with some news like uh, i know one person who was down with uh, cancer and that was a time when a bank approached knowing that he had cancer to sell him life insurance and they were brilliant they did not sell it to him they sold it to two of their two of his minor children who were in school and he sold they sold them big policies where the premium had to be paid by the father for the children this was such a stupid policy but when you are talking to a person who has got cancer it is easy to sell a policy saying in case of death there will be a lump sum yes he needed it the children didn't need it the children were not uh, uh, children were dependent on him children were not paying for it luckily for him uh, the corpus was very big and i entered the picture and i said okay get rid of these policies one or two years one 
one year premium was paid so we paid for three four years and made it fully paid up and these were big premiums right so uh, banker you have to be very careful or any salesperson you have to be very careful especially when you are vulnerable if you have had a i mean it's very simple right if you have had a heartbreak it's very easy that the boy or girl who lends you the shoulder becomes your next uh, next person right you a boy and a girl have had a break the boy needs a shoulder the girl who provides the shoulder becomes his next girlfriend or the boy who gives the shoulder becomes the next boyfriend right this is what happens because you're vulnerable somebody is willing to lend a shoulder you you like the shoulder so you fall for it whatever boy or girl doesn't really matter so be very careful see the times when you're vulnerable when you're not fit when you're ill uh, when you're hungry when you're you're angry when you're feeling bitter when you're left aloof i ask yourself this question nobody else will be able there is no uh, meter but this increases the risk of coming to a bad conclusion and a bad decision so if you come to a conclusion and you think that you are uh, below your best uh, postpone that decision take that decision after time you decided that you want to buy an xyz share at a particular price very fantastic buy it tomorrow it's not as though the world is going to come to an end today and you won't be able to buy it tomorrow or whether you're going to invest in a mutual fund or you're taking some insurance or whatever it is postpone the decision ask yourself this question i'm saying this again and again because other than you nobody else will know that you are in a little vulnerable uh, mode right so this is halt hunger anger aloof and tired right uh, when you're feeling any of these uh, any of these uh, feelings be very careful while taking the decision postpone the decision hold it on for some time talk to your friend talk to your wife talk to your husband talk to your children talk to somebody talk about it then take a decision thank you